Welcome to another lesson by YourTechVision.com and today I'm going to show you how to use Google Calendar. So I am on uh, Google. I'm going to go ahead and do insert tab and listen. Inbox left there, 39 right there, that's the niche of gmail.com, that's gmail, yep. that's Mozilla. I'm there. So now I'm going to go ahead and bring up my apps. And I'm using standard, not basic. If you're using ba basic, you can just insert F7 and go right to your calendar. If you're using standard, you have to go to your apps. So insert F7. Links list dialog. And A for apps. And enter. enter. And the apps open. Sometimes Jaws will tell you, sometimes it won't. Uh, you're just going to have to walk by faith. If you know you hit apps, you're going to go ahead and down arrow. List of nine items. Visited link plus the niche link search trackable. Visited link YouTube trackable. Link maps trackable. Link play trackable. Link news trackable. Visited link email. Visited link drive trackable. Visited link calendar. And it's the ninth down arrow. Calendar is the last on your list, so don't give up. Just keep down arrowing and enter an open calendar. Enter. Apps collapsed. Visited as pop-up link. Uh, now, as soon as you open the calendar, you're going to go ahead and create. It is a button. It's the longer way to do it. So I use Insert F5. Select the form field dialog. And I do C for create. create button. And there it is. Enter and open. Enter. Now, Insert F5 only brings you there. So you need to hit Enter to actually activate whatever you went to. Enter. Event title edit. Untitled event. Type in text. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and type in conference. And that's my title, and I'm just going to tab through this whole page. Very easy. Conference tab from the edit two slash sixteen slash twenty fifteen. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and type my date in. So I'm going to do two slash two five slash two zero one five and twenty five slash twenty fifteen tab from time edit twelve. And I'm going to go ahead and type my time. Now, if I automatically hit nine, nine a.m. is going to come up. So I'm just going to hit nine. Uh, if you want PM, just hit PM, 9 PM, and it will go in there. Tab until time edit, 10 AM, type in text. Okay, and it's going to be until 10 PM. That easy. And then when I'm going to get back. 2 slash 2 6 slash 2 0 1 5 2 slash 26 slash 2015. Tab time zone. Time zone, because I do conferences all over the United States, I do need to choose my time zone. Event time zone dialog. View separate start event time zone checkbox. And button. I do need Loading to check it. Tab. Event start. Combo box. The United States. Yep. Change the tab. Combo box. Left parent GMT. Okay, this does happen to be Eastern Standard Time this time, but if I was going to do Pacific, I can change my time zone there. Tab. The button. And done. Space. Time zone link. Now I'm going to go ahead and continue. Tab. All day checkbox not checked. Yep. All day. Space. Check. And continue. Tab. Repeat. Dot. 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 Check. Tab. Enter email addresses. Edit. Type in text. Yeah, I'm just going to add a guest. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put what you are. E E C H. What enter? Enter email addresses. Edit. Combo me in there, but of course you can add all the other people that you want to know about this conference. So I'm going to go ahead and continue. Tab. Add button. I can add more if I want to, but I'm going to just continue. Tab. Extended select list box. Click the mark. This attendee is optional and no yep. more than these. Tab. Already Hold added me. There, zero right there. Tab. Modify event checkbox not checked. Nope. Don't want to do that. Tab. Invite other checkbox check. I could. Uh, I'm just going to uncheck that at this point by hitting my space bar. Tab. See guest list checkbox check. And I could do that also, but I'm going to uncheck it. Space not checked. Okay, and continue. Tab. Learn more link. Tab. Where? Column 201. Where? Where? Okay. A R Y L A F D. And continue. Maryland, tab, video call, add video call. I could add a video call here if I wanted to, but I'm just going to continue. Tab. Calendar combo box. Denise Robinson. The change. Okay, I want it on my calendar because I want notifications to come up and remind me as I approach that date. Tab. Description. Description edit. Type in text. Okay. Very simple and continue. Presentation. Tab. Event color number. I can color it if I want to, but I don't need to. Tab. Notification type combo box. Yes, up. I want a pop up. Tab. Notifications column two row seven. Notifications edit one. Type nope, text. I want three days prior. Three. And I'm going to continue. Tab. Notifications combo box days. To change now the I can change it to days, minutes, uh, whatever I want. I'm going to keep it in days. Tab. Notifications column two row seven. Reminder time edit eleven thirty p.m. Type okay, text. I'm going to just type in one, ten, zero. which will automatically come up in ten a.m. If you don't actually add it, if you want p.m., you need to put p.m. Then tab. Remove notification button. Tab. Notification type combo box email. Yeah, yeah I want it in a pop up, a notification, and I want it in my email. Tab notifications column two row seven. Notifications edit one. Type one is text. the default. I'm going to change to two. Tab notifications combo box days. Yep, I want days. Tab notifications column two row seven. Reminder time edit four. And I'm just going to choose nine. nine. 
And it's going to come up 9 a.m. because I did not hit p.m. on it. Add, remove notification button. Add, add a notification button. Add, show me as, show me as available radio button check. Yep, uh, available. Add, visibility, visibility calendar default radio button check. One okay, three. and yes, I want my calendar default. And of course, I can change it to public or uh, private also. Now, when I have finished, I want to go ahead and save this. And this is going to be insert F5 again. Select a form field dialog. And S. S. Search calendar S. Show search S. Save button. And uh, you could have hit B for button also, but let's face it, insert F5 is so much faster. Enter. Now remember, it only brings me there, so I have to hit Enter to save it. Enter. Send invitations. Dialogue. Yes, and I need to send invitations, so tab to send. Tab. Close button. Tab. Send button. Yes, space bar. Because I did put me in there. Now, I'm back to my calendar. Let's say I want to go ahead and look at it. It's a table, so I'm going to hit T for table. Drag into the top. Table with seven columns and seven rows. Mini calendar dash February 2015. Column one. Row one. S clickable. Table. Column one. Row one. Column one. Row one. S table. Column four. Row six. Loading complete. I'm going to go ahead and down arrow and listen to my calendar. Dash Robert Lynch dash dash Debbie Butler's room clickable. Link to Mark 3. All day clickable. Graphic images slash cake clickable. Shelly's birthday button collapsed. Link sun Mark 8. All day clickable. Daylight saving time starts button collapsed. Link sun Apple 5. All day clickable. Easter Sunday button collapsed. Link okay. Mark 13. And it's just that easy. So you can down and up arrow if you actually want your, uh, to go to your dates. All day clickable. Thomas Jefferson's Link sun May 10. Okay, you can go ahead and control all up arrow to move to the the specific date you want. Link mom, Apple 13, Link Sun, Apple 5, Link Sun, Mar 8, Link 2, Mar 3, Let's seven. say it's March 3rd that I want to take a look at. So I'm going to go ahead and down arrow to go across. All day clickable. Graphic images slash cake clickable. Shelly's birthday button collapsed. Okay. Let's say I want to just move in my events. I can go ahead and control all up arrow. Mom, Mar 2, a table of values. Graphic images slash cake clickable. 2, F26. Conference button collapsed. Okay. Maryland, click and and I can go that way also. So you can uh, go control all up arrow down arrow through your columns down and up arrow to move horizontally through your information uh, but that easy so it's uh, just incredibly easy and very nice and I love the notifications that I get on this okay and that's how you do Google Calendar